Good morning and welcome to Morning Java here on DK Pittsburgh Sports. I'm Chris Carter here with Dale Lolly. We're talking things Steelers, but we, as always, our show is sponsored by Get Go Cafe and Market. You know, for a limited time only, you can get the smokestack pulled pork sandwich. Oh. This thing is slow smoked for 16, 16 hours. 16 hours? Delicious. That's a lot of smoking. That, that sounds like it tastes good, man. Get you to Get Go Cafe yeah, and Market you're, and try that you're out. A, you're a smokehouse kind of guy. I am. I am. I, I love my ribs, but smoked out. I'm, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check out that sandwich. But before we get into sandwiches, we gotta talk about. Steelers and OTAs. Everyone, Dale, was talking about where's Le'Veon Bell? Why isn't he here? Antonio Brown was saying, why isn't he here? And then all of a sudden, this week, Ben Roethlisberger and Antonio Brown, not at OTAs. Dale, what's going on? Well, actually, Ben Roethlisberger hasn't been there since the first one. Really? And Antonio Brown hasn't been there since the second one. You know, I wouldn't know that by all the, the hoopla that I see on social media these days. Yeah, and I was told that they were both told that, that their, their services weren't needed there. Ah. Go ahead and stay away. Do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. Spend time with your family. Antonio Brown's training on his own. Oh yeah, I mean that uh, guy's that, free. Yeah, he's all over that. Ben Roethlisberger, you don't need him there. You want you want Mason Rudolph and Landry Jones and Josh Dobbs to get as much work as possible. You want these guys to hit the ground running mm -hmm. at training camp so that you can really take a good look at your quarterback situation and make a decision, an informed decision. And you can't do that if you've got Ben Roethlisberger there taking up a bunch of snaps. And that's very true. You want to see these guys get experience, and not just experience with themselves, but also that re building those relationships with the receivers. And when you have when you have Ben Roethlisberger taking those first reps, you're not going to, you know, they're not going to see those guys get James Washington and Juju Smith-Schuster, who's, you know, nursing Ben Who well, also has a practice. Yeah, yeah because, he's, because he's injured. But I think that's a very important thing to consider is the getting the reps for the, for the younger guys in there. So it's kind of interesting to see who's going to be stepping up in the OTAs and who might hit the ground running in training camp. You know, the, one of the guys on this Steelers team, this roster, uh, who is expected to make the next step in his maturation process, along with Artie Burns and Sean Davis, mm -hmm. is Javon Hargrave. You have a, a piece coming up, Chris, on Javon Hargrave. Uh, what's he have to do to become, everybody keeps asking, saying, well, they needed to draft a big nose tackle, right. a big, to stop the run. That's not a one-man job. No. Stopping the run is not a one-man job. Yeah. And just because you have a nose tackle or a big, fat nose tackle... Isn't going to solve everything. That doesn't if, solve If that was the problems. case, Dan McCullers would be a starter and a yes. superstar. But the thing is, is, Javon Hargrave, and what I highlight in, in this story, check out Carter's Classroom on DK Pittsburgh Sports, I show you that his strengths have always been, he liked being the lowest man, getting his hands inside, keeping a wide base. That's what made him so good at South Carolina State, and that helped him translate to early success in the NFL. But where he needs to be able to step up is too often you find he finds himself getting clogged up in the hole or getting pushed out of the way because he relies on his finesse moves just a little too much sometimes. And what I've been interested to see is can Javon Hargrave turn into a more stout player that can just we don't necessarily need you to get around your guy but we need to keep the center and keep him in the hole or drive him backwards but because it's sort of something that you sacrifice and this is why Javon Hargrave also plays that interior defensive lineman in those sub packages as a backup to Hayward and to it sometimes but it's just because he likes to do swim moves he likes to do rips he likes to work around offensive linemen but when you're the, the three four nose tackle you need to be eating up double teams and keeping people in their spots so that the linebackers can be doing their jobs. Here's the problem that they have. The days of the Casey Hampton nose tackle are over. Are done. Yeah. They're over because everybody goes everybody comes out and plays with three receivers. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why Mike Hilton is on the field 80% of the time yep. as your nickel cornerback because you, you can't you just don't use a nose tackle all that often. Mm -hmm. So they went and got a nose tackle who can also rush the passer. Right. And that's what they want him to do. And, and, and it's similar to like what we've been talking about with, with how Bud Dupree and T.J. Watt have to play run and pass defense. You need Hargrave. He's very good, at I think, at being that pass rusher style, a guy that can win those one-on-one -on -one battles. Because Hayward and Tewitt naturally attract double teams. That's where you want Hargrave to be able to win. But I think his biggest thing he needs to show up is when he gets those one-on-ones and, and it's against the run, he needs to be able to hold his guy in the spot more, and that's a, a different kind of skill than what he's shown in his two years with the team so far. Now, Dale, you did an interesting piece on Keon Adams, a late-round draft pick from, to, from two years back now, who was put on IR at the beginning of, of last season. And uh, he's he's gonna be he's in a position now where the team they got they they didn't re-sign Arthur Motes so and James Harrison is gone so now there's some space on that outside linebacker depth chart. Uh, what were some of the things that you pulled out of Keon Adams and about what he's trying to do in his first year? Yeah, you know it's it's just a matter of, of 
can he get acclimated quickly? And he feels like he can. I mean, he, he went through OTAs last year. He went through mini camp. He made it through the first week of training camp and then got hurt. So yeah. he's never played in an NFL game before. Mm-hmm. But the Steelers are counting on this guy. They didn't draft anybody. They didn't sign anybody at the outside linebacker position. And as you mentioned, they, they've, they've opened up a couple of spots on their roster. Really, right now, Anthony Ciccolo is the only outside linebacker on the roster outside of the starters with any experience. Yeah. So they really need Keon Adams to be that guy, if not him, then maybe Farrington Huguenin or somebody else who, who may or may not even be on the roster Rockley. right now because, yeah. you know, they really need this kid to play well. They need him to stay healthy. That's mm-hmm. the big thing. And, and he needs to go out and show this. He was a productive player at Western Michigan. Mm-hmm. Seven and a half sacks as a senior, led the MAC with 18 tackles behind the line of scrimmage. And he did that at 230 pounds. That's what he played at in college. Now he's 245 pounds, and so you want to see him translate that into the NFL. He, he was flashing last year early in training camp, uh, showing that he could play the run equally as well as he could play the pass, which is what you'd expect against, uh, you know, maybe a little bit of, from a, a college defensive mm-hmm. end. Uh, the playing the pass part was a little bit of a surprise because he hadn't dropped a whole lot, but he's an athletic guy. He, he can move. He has some pass rush moves. Now he just needs to stay on the field. I think that's a big thing is because athleticism is always important, and especially for a young player that's going to be going up against hands. It's a big thing when you first step on that field and you're going up against you know, professional talent across the board. None of these guys that you're going to be seeing are going to be college guys that are just there because they, they were able to make the team. So I do think it's a very good point. It's going to be interesting to see can Keon Adams establish himself and become the, in that, that, the guys they rely on in that number two rotation. Chris, there was a story that caught my eye Thursday that, that moved on NFL.com. Ooh, what's this And story? it regarded Teddy Bridgewater really improve, improving his trade value at OTAs for the Jets. Who? Think about that. What? First of all, <laughs> he's I mean, really improving his trade value anything? in a closed practice session. The only thing I could, be, yeah, first of all, no one sees, yet, sees that. The Jets aren't gonna. The Jets can say he went a thousand for a thousand in passes for 99 yards, and you'd have to take their word for it or not, because there no one no one gets to see. It. That makes no sense. Now, the only thing I will say about that is that if someone can show can show me as a team, and I desperately need a quarterback, that Teddy Bridgewater's health is 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 not a major concern, then I then that is the only situation where I would say. That's the, that's the case. But that doesn't happen in OTA. Right, exactly. I'm All saying, he has to do in OTA is just stand upright. Yep, stand And, 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 <laughs> and maybe and make some and, throws. And toss, yeah. yeah. And again, it, it, like, like we were talking before, OTAs are football and shorts. These guys are playing seven on seven. He doesn't have to see, see over a line. He, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, why'd you bring that up? Nah, <laughs> don't get me started. Now he's, now he's angry. Yeah, now don't he's get angry. me started. But this, was, this is the things that happen this time of year around the These NFL. People reach. You're, you're looking for stories. You're looking for, for ideas. Somebody puts a bug in somebody's ear in New York, and Ooh. the next thing you know, hey, we got to start shopping Teddy Bridgewater, and, and so they're shopping Teddy Bridgewater. The NFL backup quarterback situation around the league is not good. There yeah. aren't a lot of great ones That's out there. That's a very there. good point. And somebody's going to have a quarterback go down at some point, and, and somebody probably will wind up trading for Teddy Bridgewater, mm-hmm. a guy who has starter experience and was a first-round draft pick. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, that's not happening right now, and I don't care how much interest they try to drum up yeah. in New York. It, someone's He's not just, getting traded so right now if, if, until he proves it on the field in, 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 uh, sp- in, in preseason. In preseason, And, yeah. and that's the thing. If, if he lights it up in a preseason game, I can very easily see, because I mean, we see it all the time. Heck, this year alone, the Eagles have lost Paul Worlow already. The Chargers have lost Hunter Henry. And we, we, haven't, been, we haven't put guys in pads yet. But let training camp come. People are going to be going down all across the board. You're going to see some quarterbacks fall down, and you're probably also going to see some quarterbacks just not play well. Yeah. And they're going to say, oh, my goodness, we need someone. Jets will give you a fourth-round pick for Teddy Bridgewater. The Jets will say, thank you. We'll take, we'll take that. So uh, I, think that's, I think that's a very, very good point that you brought that up. But, oh, my gosh, people. Reaching, reaching, reaching. You get about – they're, they're fouling out by now because of how many times they reach. But, Dale – Thanks for, thanks for being on the show, and thank you, GetGo, for sponsoring Morning Java. Stay tuned here at DK Sports. we got a lot of great stuff coming up for you this weekend.